Techno Mums Tech Line, with support from the Institution of Engineering and Technology. I've got a call. Hello, you're through to Techno Mums Tech Line. What's your techno question? Hi, Techno Mum. Is it true that you can rent a car on chip fat? It certainly sounds fishy, doesn't it? But incredibly, yes. It is possible to run a car using fat that's been used for cooking chips, although it's a little bit more complicated than it sounds. It's all to do with vegetable oil. You see, when chips are cooked in places like your local fish and chip shop, there's lots of leftover cooking oil, or as it's also known, waste vegetable oil. Now, a little while ago, some clever people worked out that cars designed to use diesel fuel could be powered by this vegetable oil, although with a few important tweaks. So how's it done? To start with, you don't just pour chip oil into the fuel tank. You firstly have to heat the oil up to steam off any water that might be in it. Some chemicals are then added, and the oil is left to separate out into layers. It then needs to go through a process of filtering before it can be used, to remove impurities and any old chips that might still be in there. This is definitely a job for the grown-ups, and even they need to be very careful. Once all of that's done, the fuel can then be used in your car. This kind of fuel is known as biofuel, because it comes from living matter. That's the crops that we use to make the vegetable oil in the first place. Many people think that biofuels like these are good for the environment because it's basically recycling oil that would otherwise just be thrown away. Remember though, hot oil can give you nasty burns, so stay safe and leave this sort of thing to your parents. Techno Mums Tech Line, with support from the Institution of Engineering and Technology. Find out more at fungislive.com.